Greetings from Bagram Airfield. This is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Lance Corporal Benjamin Harris. The International Security Assistance Force confirmed the capture of the Haqqani leader during an operation in Host Province November 25th. The targeted individual conducted remote-controlled, improvised explosive device attacks against coalition force bases and convoys. The security force followed intelligence reports to a compound southwest of Guldar in Savari District to search for the targeted individual. The security force detained the Haqqani leader along with two of his associates. The security force did not fire their weapon during this operation and the women and children were protected throughout the search. Coalition forces in Afghanistan are working hard to fight the information war. Air Force Staff Sergeant James Zanetti takes us to Parwan Province where they're teaching young Afghan journalists to be first with the truth. Education opportunities for journalists in Afghanistan are limited. Major importance lies in Afghans knowing the truth and being able to tell their own story to the world. More than 90 journalists from three different provinces recently attended a media training course in Parwan province where the focus was on asking the right questions, writing good stories, and remaining objective. For Ms. Matab Farid, a diplomacy officer for the U.S. State Department, the results were immediate. Kabul University is the only real university with a journalism major, but not the entire Afghanistan does not have access to Kabul University. So when we give them workshops, even for one day, as you have seen, um, they immediately get basic trainings on the basic things of what to do, where to go, where to get the information, how to remain objective. Air Force Staff Sergeant James Zanetti, Harwan Province, Afghanistan.